I remember very vividly the first time I got in contact with an earth building. It was when I was 16. I didn't have a clue what it was. I was just started stroking the walls and behaving a bit weird. And it was just amazing, just the vibrancy and the texture of the walls. That was sort of love at first sight for me. And it's stayed with me ever since. I'm quite uncompromising when it comes to ecological building, so I'm not really interested in designs that have got, you know, a lot of embodied energy or toxic materials. I'm passionate about earth. It feels amazing to be able to just dig out the material from underneath your feet and create something with it. There is this connection to the past that always strikes me again and again that I'm sort of doing something that humanity has done for thousands of years really. You really have to immerse yourself in the material and try out different mixes, see how they behave. It takes quite a lot of hands-on experience to be able to use clay in a way that, you know, it really gives you perfect results. Yeah, I get called dirty girl quite a lot. <laughs> I think it's really funny when people ask me if I've got childhood issues and if I wasn't allowed to play in the mud enough when I was a kid. In actual fact, most people that overcome that initial inhibition of touching the stuff fall in love with it and can't get enough of it. You know, having worked with the material and knowing more about it on a more microscopic level, I actually know that it is quite hygienic. If you wanted to, you could immerse yourself in the mix and it would detoxify your skin. I know it's quite funny. <laughs> it looks dirty, but it's actually quite clean. I like hard work. I've sort of got the motto of work hard, play hard. One of the coolest features of Earth building is its ability for passive solar heating and it regulates humidity inside a house. It's quite cleansing to the air and it creates a really comfortable living environment. We start adding a natural building material like an earth plaster or a feature wolf made from mud brick. The reaction you get is, yeah, there's just this natural attraction to that natural building material. It just feels real. Even if you've already built your home, you can still incorporate an earthen feature. For mud brick walls, you need to incorporate it in new plans because there's a bit of weight and you have to have good foundations. But if you want to incorporate an earth plaster, you, you just can retrofit it. There's always that underlying simplicity and, and just the softness and the colours. And Even after 10 years of working with the material, I'm really still in love with it. There's usually that elated feeling when something goes up, a building goes up and it makes me feel very 
euphoric and you're happy. Yeah, it is just awesome.